all the gods on Olympus and demons wanted him dead. And here's why. Percy Jackson is a young man with an unusual ability of staying underwater for a very long time. He had a rare condition where he could only read Greek, which he believed to be dyslexia, lived with his mom and stepfather whom he never liked. The only good thing about his school was having his best friend Grover go there with him. In short, there was nothing fancy about Percy's life, but all that was about to change. Turns out he's a demigod, son of Poseidon, god of the sea. But even that came with its own challenges. So there's problem on Olympus as Zeus confronts Poseidon over his stolen lightning bolts. All evidence points to Percy as the thief. Zeus tells Poseidon to make his son return his lightning bolt in 14 days or there'll be war. Now here's the catch. Poseidon has never been in contact with his son since he was born as Zeus forbid the gods to have any contact with their children. Percy has no clue he's a demigod so how could he possibly be the lightning thief? On a school tour at a local museum, Percy's teacher calls him aside to have a talk, only to transform into a beast and attack Percy, asking for the lightning bolt. You can imagine his shock at this point. Luckily, the tour guide, Mr. Bruno and Grover, his best friend, scared the beast away. Apparently, they knew what it was, a fury from Hades. Mr. Bruno gives Percy a pen to protect himself with, uh, a pen? Well, the pen transforms into a sword, so yeah, it was actually a weapon. Meanwhile, Grover takes him home to warn his mother. He must be moved immediately since nowhere is safe for him. Percy can't believe Grover is his protector, as he claims, since he looks like the one in need of protection. What he doesn't know is his friend is actually a satyr, protectors of demigods. They hurriedly drive out of town to take him to a camp for demigods. On the way, Percy's mom tries to explain everything to him but they're attacked by a minotaur who captures his mother and sends her to Hades. He manages to kill the creature but passes out for days. Grover shows him around camp when he wakes and he finds out Mr. Bruno is actually Chiron, a centaur and head of camp. He disguised in a wheelchair to keep an eye on him. Chiron tells him about his father Poseidon and he realizes he's kind of a big deal and a threat to Zeus and Hades. But the most devastating news is his mother married his stepdad because his foul smell cloaked them from the gods. And now she's gone. With four days gone, Percy has ten days to return the bowl to Zeus but he needs to start training for battle like yesterday just in case. At first he's overwhelmed with the training but thanks to a little help from his father, he steps up and conquers. He also meets Luke, son of Hermes, and the beautiful Annabeth, daughter of Athena. While they celebrate at a bonfire night, Hades rises from the ashes and tells Percy to bring him the lightning bolt if he wants to see his mother again. Percy immediately wishes to go to the underworld to save his mother. Chiron tells him not to. Hades would not spare him if he walks in there with or without the lightning bolt. But like all stubborn teens, he sets out in the dead of night to save her. Somehow, Grover and Annabeth knew he wouldn't stay put so they joined him. Luke gave them a map to the underworld. He also gave Percy a pair of flying shoes and a shield before they set out. So getting into the underworld is the easy part, but getting out is the challenge. They must find Persephone's pearls, wife of Hades. She hid pearls all over the world to get visitors in and out of the underworld. Percy and Cole must find the pearls if they must escape Hades back to Earth. Their first stop is a creepy statue shop which happens to be Medusa's lair. Took them a while to figure it out, but like all Greek movies, Percy beheads Medusa and takes the head as a souvenir. Good thing is they found the pearl on Medusa's wrist. Two more to go. The map leads them to a Greek museum where the pearl sits pretty on the head of a giant statue of Athena. They hide out until the museum closes, then Percy uses Luke's shoes to fly up and get the pearls. But their victory is short-lived as the janitors they knocked out transform into a huge hydra. Percy makes things wrong by cutting off the head of the hydra, making six more grow back. But after a while, Grover remembers Medusa's head and uses it to turn the hydra to stone. Their next stop is a casino in Vegas. The attendants at the casino hand out lotus-shaped cakes to people, which dulls their senses and makes them never want to leave. And of course, our trio changed their minds instantly and spent five days there until Poseidon helps Percy snap out of the illusion. He helps others and they manage to get out with the pearl. But they lost a lot of time as Zeus's deadline is the next day. A huge storm has covered over half of the continents as the gods prepare for war. They make it to Hades' lair who thinks he's foolish to come empty-handed. While Hades threatens to kill his mother, Percy drops his shield and runs towards her unknowing to him that the lightning bolt was in there all along. Luke was the thief. 
Anyhow, Hades is happy to find it and almost feeds them to dead souls but his wife Persephone outsmarts him and strikes him with the bolt. She never liked him anyway. She lets them go but the only thing is they have three pearls so Grover stays back as the others head to Olympus to return the bolt. Luke tries to stop them along the way. He reveals he merely stole it because he hates the gods, especially his father, for abandoning him. Percy kills him and luckily they make it right on time before the gods set out for battle. Percy explains to Zeus what happened happened and he calls off the war. He also pleads with Zeus to bring Grover back from the underworld which he grants. Poseidon begs to speak with his son and Zeus allows it just this time. Poseidon and Percy come to an understanding. Now that everything is fine and good, Percy still has to remain in camp to train. Meanwhile, his mom has no need for his stepdad anymore so they separate. Zeus kept his promise and returned Grover. Chiron is happy to have Percy back and it seems there is a buddy romance between Percy and Annabeth or not. The end. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Tune in for more movie moments.